Hey YouTube, it's your girl Davina Love, back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my busy bees? Staying busy, I hope. Mm-hmm, keeping it sexy, always. And here you are for part two of I tried, I'm trying some Instagram slash TikTok reels tutorials. And this is eyeshadow. So if you missed the first one, it was foundation, where you mixed all your foundation together. It was wild. Check it out. Um, this one will be very artsy, very editorial, I guess. I don't really know what they call it. Um, eyeshadow tutorial for the holidays. Something really cute. And it was inspired by my top. Because I really do love the plaid look. And I'm going to put on a lot, a lot of setting powder. Because we're going to use the James Charles palette to make this look. Mm-hmm. And I just want to make sure that I am safe. So, to start, I figured I needed to just do a regular brown or nude brown base. Just to give it something to work with. And I have an, like an egg shell color in here, just kind of yellow, and I'm going to mix with a little orangey one, just to lightly warm up the, the eye, because I did put a little highlighter on the eye from the Too Faced palette, just to finish the first tutorial, you know, we're going to put this all over. And it's going to be a little different because the left eye is going to be completely uh, like a normal eyeshadow look. And the right eye will be the editorial look because we would be here all day. All day. And I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to feel that way. Plus, I don't think I would actually rock both eyes. I would rock just one for the holiday. Because that's the way it, it really looked. It really popped with just the one eye. So, with that in mind, we're going to go into a red and put that into my crease, kind of build that up. I'm not really blending it out too much. And then... match her up on the other side at least with the going in with the red and blend her out I don't want her to be too overdone and then we're going to go into a rich rich purple this is where the color wheel will be coming color switch will come in handy so that I can use the same brush but we're going to be putting that right next to this one so it kind of looks like the plaited shirt how are you all doing I hope you're staying healthy, staying blessed, getting your Christmas shopping stuff together. And then I'm going to take this one and put it in the crease, the purple. Just keep it nice and light on this eye because we really want to focus everything on this eye. But we don't want to neglect the face, you know, got to have it all rounded out properly, you know. Get into all them creases. That's really pretty too. All by itself. Okay. And I just want to keep stamping that a little bit. Keep building it up just a little bit. The red looks a little muted too. It's a weird red. It's like an orangey red. So I, I don't know why it's so muted. Come on, James Charles. Come through. All right. That looks a lot more vibrant. A lot more vibrant. And now we're going to go into a blue. 
and it's a really rich blue. Very shimmery. I don't really mind or care if the shimmer stays or not. I just want it to be a part of the color scheme. And get that nice impact. And I'm gonna mix this with a little bit of, of a vibrant bright blue pigment because it's got too much shimmer and it's not connecting to the color that I want it to. Now it is. Before it wasn't, now it's really popping. Okay, woo, and you see all that fall out? We've gotta be careful. Let's dust that away. Because I don't want that blue to be effective at all on my face. That would just be terrible, terrible, terrible. And that's why you leave it kind of lumpy up there so that it, you have that protection. Okay, so now we need a thinner pencil brush. Oh, the blue on the other eye. I don't really think it needs it. But I'm just going to put a little light, like dusting of it, I guess, in the outer corner. Eh. Doesn't really... I don't feel like it needs it, but I'll put it on the lid. Because it actually should match. I'm going to drag it off the corner. not vivid as I want it to be, so I'm going to wet it. Just to make it stick a little better on this eye. Much better. Not too worried too much about the lid being very dark, because um, the lash is going to be really, really popping and pretty. And I want to be make sure it sticks. So I'm going to keep my a little bit of my lid clear. Ooh. Yeah, she definitely needed to be wet, this blue combo. Kind of need a flat brush. This is not going to work too well. Let's see. A little stiffer. Because that shimmer blue looks like she's trying to be problematic. She makes perfectly on the other eye, but on this eye, she wants to be problematic. So I'm going to mix it and wet it. Yeah, so as you see that each one has a block to it for that re for its own reason. I'm going to go back over the red and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of a gold and wet it to get it to pop a little more. Not really, but just barely. There we go. Now let's get to that purple. Gotta do constant touch-ups when you do something like this, and that's something they did not show us on the Instagram, but I'm seeing it from my own uh, perspective that I needed to make it more vibrant. I wanted it to pop a lot more, and I hope you guys are, I mean, focused a lot better. And I'm going to cover it with the shimmer. Purple. i am really been scraping into my, my this, this um, James Charles palette 
it did so much for Halloween. So now I'm like, you know what? You're good for Christmas too. You got all the great colors in here. Mm. She is very pretty when she's wet. I have the palette over here on a different table. Sorry, if I look over. Okay. So that's it for that part of the, um, the look. And then I don't have enough. I need a liquid liner to now draw some of the lines. Oops. Oh no. That always happens when you use a, a lighter that's like really, really got a fine tip on it. And this is the better than sex one and it does have that stupid, super fine tip on it. But it's okay. We can fix that. Okay, so now we want to draw a few of the lines in. See, everything's going up and down and side to side, so we'll just give it a peekaboo window. And then a double line. Sorry, I had to really think positive thoughts while doing this so I don't mess it up. So far, am I looking play, like a plaited shirt? A little bit. A little bit. Now we're going to jazz her up a whole lot. I have some drops here. My fixed drops. And I have some white glitter with a little white pigment. A little bit of teal pigment from the James Charles palette that I put on this little piece of easel that I have. And a red, just because I, I want the red to really be there. I don't know why. I just feel for the red. Grab me a nice lip brush. And just give them all a little mix. I have them down here. I don't want to pour them. I don't want them to mix. So I'm not going to be able to show you. But... Let's do this bad boy. Just to... I feel it needs a little glitter in it. It's just not shiny enough. There we go. Whew. The girl is not good with her hands right now. All right, now we're gonna do the blue. I'm gonna put the blue in here. A little more 
white glitter in it. It is just not mixing properly. Alright, that seems like a bust right there. The red worked out good. Yeah. I think I'm going to fill in the rest of the eye with black. Because it just seems appropriate to just... Let me grab a thinner brush, something a little bit more defined, and I'm going to wet this. like a really good true black, don't you? And that is a really true charcoal black. I'm going to think I'm going to buff a little bit out here. It's time to... Just to give it some shadow. Dimension. Get it to barely touch into the blue. It's cute. She cute and whatever. I like that whole idea, like when Brett Van Rock does that. Now I'm just gonna put the black in the center on this eye. I think I should bring a little down just to have it all smoky and whatever and to keep myself safe give me a sec I have my other dry sponge here I already have foundation on. I don't want to move it too much around. Okay. And don't worry about the little nose jabby. I'm going to get her cleaned up and I will see you in the next video. This is part two. Part three will be lashes, and we'll finish off the eye. See you in the next one. Love you guys. Be good. Bye.